As many as 14 million acres of crops were impacted last week due to hurricane-strength winds in Iowa. The National Agriculture Statistics Service appears to have taken that into account in their latest crop condition ratings in the Crop Progress Report. Rural Radio Network market anchor Clay Patton is here for a state-by-state -state breakdown of those crop conditions. Clay, I want to start with what's happening to the Iowa corn and soybean crop in the latest report. As you said, the big winds in Iowa definitely left their mark. Less than a week after the event, we see the Iowa corn condition, according to NASH, dropped 10 percent to 59 percent good to excellent. That compares to Nebraska, where the corn condition dropped 5 percent to 73 percent good to excellent. And in Kansas, it'll be one of the few states to actually see a slight increase of 1 percent to 63 percent good to excellent. As for soybeans, the national condition actually stopped its march higher and fell down several percent to 72 percent good to excellent. Iowa soybeans fell 8 percent to 62 percent good to excellent. And Nebraska soybeans followed the suit of the corn crop in Nebraska, dropping 5 percent to a rating of 76 percent good to excellent. Bryce, that's a summary of the crop progress report. We'll send it back to you. Well, thank you very much, Clay. In other agriculture news today, a Nebraska Extension webinar planned for Thursday at noon is sent to focus on how farmers and ranchers can put legal plans in place for business and health care decisions in the event that they fall ill. The webinar titled Business and Health Care Powers of Attorney will cover powers of attorney, health care directives, and end-of-life decision-making considerations. Registration will be free for this and can be completed online at the website farm.unl.edu slash webinars. Again, it is farm.unl.edu slash webinars. That is the latest in agriculture news from the KRVN Nebraska Soybean Wars Studio. I'm Bryce Duskin reporting. This is Mike. Mike likes his car, Mike likes to save money, and Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.